I think the decision is either made by the uh, director of immigration or the minister in charge. And it happens everywhere in the world that when deportation like this one is done for extra legal purpose, because it has nothing to do with the law, it is, I mean, the law is a casualty in this process, then the court will determine whether that process was right or wrong. I think uh, Hong Sudi has said everything that will be said. Myself and my team, we were ready today to start the criminal process if the government was you know, serious enough or bold enough to charge Harun. But as uh, Honorable Sudi said, this was just a political act. Of course, the government knew that Harun had no issue with terrorism or has not committed a criminal offense. For me, as a lawyer, it saddens me because, uh, I mean, this is a government whose modus operandi really is to abuse the criminal justice system, a government that uses, you know, the criminal justice system for political ends, a government that abuses the constitution for political ends, and, and it's terrible for this country, you know. When you arrest someone from the streets every day, say that he has financed terrorism, then as a government you don't even have the guts to bring him to court so that you can see that process through. It shows how shameless, how shameless, and this is so unfortunate that this government is. But as his lawyers, we, are, we will challenge the process to deport him uh, because deportation is done according to a certain procedure and laws.